Jennifer Dragon with the Tillock Golf Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to hit a pitch shot with controllable wedge distances. All of us know that at least 50% of the game is taking place inside of, of 100 yards, so it's very crucial that we know how to do this. One of the mistakes I see most amateurs make is that they slow down their golf swing in order to try and hit a shorter shot. I'm going to show you a better way to do that that should produce more consistent results. First of all, we're going to set up very similar to a full swing, except we're going to hold a little lower on the handle, our feet are a little bit closer together, and we're going to shift a little bit of your weight through to your lead leg. So I would say about 60% is shifted onto your lead leg. Now. To hit these different distances, I use what I call the clock method. So I know for a 30 yard shot, my club is gonna come back that far, but that big of a follow through. For 40 yards, that far, 50 yards, this far. And when I hit a full swing, that's 70 yards for me. So some homework for you is, to, is gonna be to figure out how big of a swing do I need to control each of these yardages. So let me show you what I mean. This is a 30 yard shot for me. Okay, notice how when I swing through, I'm holding my finish to that same size I brought back in my backswing. Okay, so we want to avoid the big loopy follow through because this can really produce inconsistent results. So a 40 yard shot. Okay, I'm going to continue doing that all the way up by 10 yards until I get to my full swing. So you can see that this is a much easier way to control distances with your wedges, thus easier on shorter par 4s and also on par 5s. Those are definitely your scoring holes. I'm Jennifer Gregan with the Chillout Golf Academy. Stay tuned for more videos and clips and make sure you like us on Facebook.